Niagara Falls, New York, United States. Hello everyone, welcome to Bring the Best YouTube channel. A channel for committed to get the best information and motivation videos. In this video, we are going to cover Niagara Falls, New York. Watch this video till the end so you don't miss any part of the place worth seeing. And make sure to subscribe and hit bell icon. Travelers are always looking for inspiration to guide their adventures. Niagara Falls is a town in Niagara County, New York, United States. As of the 2020 census, the city received a complete population of 48,671. It's adjacent to the Niagara River, across from the city of Niagara Falls, Ontario, and called after the famed Niagara Falls that they talk about. The city is within the Buffalo-Niagara Falls Metropolitan Statistical Area as well as the Western New York area. While the city was previously occupied by Native Americans, Europeans who migrated to the Niagara Falls in the mid-17th century started to businesses that are open and create infrastructure. Later on, in the 19th and 18th centuries, scientists and businessmen began harnessing the potential of the Niagara River for power along with the city started attracting other businesses and manufacturers pulled by the promise of affordable hydroelectric power. After the 1960s, nonetheless, the community and area saw an economic decline, using an attempt at urban renewal under then-Mayor Lackey. Consistent with the majority of the Rust Belt as industries left the community, old-line wealthy families relocated to close-by suburbs and of town. Despite the drop in serious business, Niagara Falls, the downtown and state park area nearest to the falls continue to flourish as a result of tourism. The population, nonetheless, has continued to drop from a peak of 102,394 in the 1960s on account of the damage of producing jobs in the region. Despite the decline in heavy industry Niagara Falls State Park will continue to thrive because of tourism. Nevertheless, the population has went on to drop from a peak of 102,394 in the 1960s because of the loss of manufacturing jobs in the region. Niagara Falls continues to be attracting millions of visitors each year with its jaw-dropping scenic beauty thundering roars as well as shimmering rainbows. The raw energy of 4 to 6 million cubic feet of water rushing every minute of the day over the edges is an all-natural wonder. Seeing the falls is not one thing you would like to miss though a drive to Niagara isn't complete without taking in an afternoon to look at the natural landscape which makes up the nation's oldest state park, Niagara Falls State Park. Spend some time walking the nearby trails, which are scattered across lush postcard-worthy scenery. Take a hike out of the Niagara Gorge Trailhead Center or hike the Devil's Hole State Park up the ante. Whichever journey you pick it is going to be one you will not forget. From spring to fall, you can enjoy Niagara Falls completely outdoors so ring your sunglasses and hats. Be prepared to soak up the fresh air take in the spectacular views and listen to the roar of the rapids of the river. Niagara Falls is a North American treasure, and it is just a 20-minute drive from Buffalo. Be certain you experience our natural wonder during the Buffalo vacation. Cave of the Winds Take in the experience of being nearer to the waters of Niagara Falls than you believed possible on a spectacular Niagara Falls tour. The adventure of yours starts with an elevator ride up the Niagara Gorge, 175 feet tall. After that you will follow a tour guide over wooden walkways to the hurricane deck less than 20 feet from the torrential Bridal Veil Falls covered in a souvenir rain poncho and flip-flops. You will enjoy tropical storm-like conditions on the deck, getting sprayed by the spray of the rushing waters. A special cave in the winds viewing area has additionally been created for people with disabilities as well as adults with kids in arms. Devil's Hole State Park State Park overlooks Devil's Hole Rapids. The park has picnic area scenic overlooks along with hiking trails and is among the most famous spots for fishing. A stone staircase leads to the base of the gorge as well as Devil's Hole Trail, providing stunning views of the rapids and gorge rock layers. Escape Niagara Could you solve the unsolvable? It is up to you as well as your team, can you complete the task of yours in under an hour? Find clues and solve puzzles. Clues, codes, hidden artifacts and puzzles are placed in each room, which you need to make use of the wits of yours, sleuthing teamwork and skills to unlock each mystery. 
Could you escape? Book your adventure today. Fort Niagara State Park Fort Niagara State Park has two boat launches providing access to the Lower Niagara River and Lake Ontario, woodland hiking trails, swimming pools, drinking water slide, a view of Lake Ontario, picnic grounds, playgrounds, drinking waterfowl hunting, 18 soccer fields. In winter, visitors can cross-country sled, snowshoe, and ski. The park is adjacent to Old Fort Niagara State Historic Site. Old Fort Niagara offers living history programs year-round, and a museum and original 18th-century buildings. It's operated by the existing Fort Niagara Association, a not-for-profit business, and is a registered National Historic Landmark as well as New York State Historic Site. Admission to the website can be purchased through its visitor center. Make sure you check out the Fort Niagara's Nature Center, situated adjacent to the pool area. Four Mile Creek State Park The Four Mile Creek State Park is situated just 15 minutes north of Niagara Falls. The 275 campsites average 50 by 50 in size as well as offer both sunny and shady settings. Available services range from 1050 campsites as well as 12130 campsites to 144 non-electric sites accommodating the biggest rig to most primitive tent site 21 prime sites non-electric or electric are situated close to the shores of Lake Ontario as well as provide spectacular panoramic views. The park offers hiking trails along densely wooded bluffs for campers. The marsh near the mouth of Four Mile Creek is home to fauna, including white-tailed deer, excellent blue herons and flora, including gorgeous white trillium and greenbrier. In Four Mile Creek, there is a camp store. Laundry services are in 100 and 200 areas at comfort stations. In the park, there is a modern playground. Joseph Davis State Park you will find several recreational activities offered at the Joseph Davis State Park. The terrain is flat with fields, woods, and ponds. Anglers can fish in the pond close to the park entrance for largemouth bass and from the fishing dock on the lower Niagara River for several freshwater fish. The park also has a nature trail, cross-country skiing snowshoeing as well as snowmobiling trails and a 27-hole frisbee disc golf course. This park is open all year round. Hunting of small game is just permitted during the pheasant season, waterfowl hunting is only permitted throughout the season. Made of the Mist Boat Tour and Observation Elevator The world-famous Made of the Mist cruises to the base of the American Falls and after that leads to the basin of the magnificent Horseshoe Falls. It is an excellent journey through the crashing waters surrounded by massive rock formations which for millions of years have tamed the raging rapids. A memorable tour of 30 minutes. The observation elevator provides you with a remarkable view of the falls. The deck extends past the gorge for an uninterrupted view of the Niagara River. Elevators descend to the boat dock of Made of the Mist. Niagara Adventure Theater the recently upgraded Adventure Theater is proud to present the 40-minute show seen by over 14 million folks around the world. At this Niagara Falls attraction, you are able to find out find out about the explorers as well as settlers that put Niagara on the map as well as the daredevils that have attempted to tame her waters. Niagara Falls State Park State Park surrounding the impressive Niagara Falls is the oldest state park in the United States. The park consists of the well-known Prospect Point area as well as numerous islands. On entering the park, visitors are greeted by the magnificent Great Lakes Garden. The visitor center contains exhibits and information about the park's technology, geology, and history. The Niagara Scenic Trolley provides three-mile guided tours which stop at several of the park's most beautiful vistas as well as facilities like the Niagara Gorge Discovery Center that tells the story of the development of the falls with exhibits along with a multi-screen theater presentation. You will find elevators at the observation structure, which take visitors 180 feet to the base of the tower for a close-up view of American Falls. During your visit to the park ride the world-famous Made of the Mist boat and get wet during the Cave of the Winds attraction. Visitors can also hike, bike and fish. It is open all year round. 
Niagara Falls Underground Railroad Heritage Center. The Heritage Center is an experiential museum which tells the genuine stories of Underground Railroad seekers as well as abolitionists in Niagara Falls. It encourages visitors to recognize modern injustices which originate from slavery and act toward an equitable society. The Heritage Center is a project of the Niagara Falls Underground Railroad Heritage Commission in collaboration with the National Heritage Area of Niagara Falls a system of the National Park Service. It is in what was the United States in 1863. A custom hull was built close to the brand new Niagara Falls Amtrak station. Niagara Gorge Discovery Center Find out more about Niagara Gorge and Falls natural and local history. Ride the virtual reality gorge elevator experience, zoom in with the actual time gorge camera on the falls control the motion of the continents as well as gorge formation in the time portal and experience the show on the gorge trail system as well as regional attractions. Niagara Gorge Trailhead Center Adventure hikes on the Niagara Gorge, led by park naturalists. You can see the huge Niagara River rapids and whirlpool and giant rock up close. Learn about the gorge and falls, geology, natural history, and local history. May through October. See website for hours as well as admission fees. The Great Wright Road Trip The Wright Road Trip is going to allow you to discover the breadth of Wright's genius from the largest prairie-style home he designed at Darwin D. From the epic grandeur of his mid-career masterpiece at Falling Water to the burst of brilliance at Kentuck Knob that was a highlight of Wright's last years. On this unforgettable road trip between Buffalo, New York, as well as the Laurel Highlands of western Pennsylvania lovingly cared for homes, restored masterpieces revitalized landscapes posthumously constructed projects breathtaking vistas and furniture from the imagination of the master himself can be found. The highlights of Wright Road Trip could be experienced in only two days, but in case you take the time to look at the highways as well as byways towns and small towns between and within these two regions you can spend as much as five days going through the work of the American master and the distinctive American heritage of the region. Set your compass for exploration roll down the windows and begin the great Wright Road Trip to the Laurel Highlands of western Pennsylvania in beautiful Buffalo, New York. You are on Wright's path. That's all for this video, and we will come up with more of these videos. Thanks for watching this video, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.